All right, gentlemen, today we're talking about casual clothing, winter essentials, and you're going to be able to use them to create a number of different outfits. You ready? Let's do this. So let's start things off by talking about the foundation of a man's wardrobe, his shoes. And I think a casual, classic, well-designed, sleek looking pair of sneakers is great to have in your wardrobe. For the upper, I'm looking for leather or for a canvas material that is going to be very simple in design. But let's look at this sole. That's the one issue I've got with this shoe is that light colored white sole. That's going to be difficult. Now this may work in Miami, but if you're up in Chicago, Illinois, this is something where you got sleet, slush, snow up there. So you're not going to probably want to have something like this because it's not to be practical to keep clean all the time. So trade it out for something that has a darker colored sole. Now the suede right here. Suede is perfectly fine during the winter if it's weather protected. Now when you find weather protected suede, the great thing about this can come in a wide variety of colors. This dark blue here so you can bring up a little bit of color into your shoe wardrobe. But notice we've got now boots. We've got the classic chucka design. I love boots because of the functionality. Right here it's going to go up higher. It's going to protect the ankle. Now if we're going to bring in boots, you might as well bring in something that's got a work boot design. Make sure to look for a rubber sole. This right here is going to give you more traction on those slippery surfaces. And for the upper, you want to go for a full grain leather, something that actually is going to be able to take maybe a little bit of waterproofing treatment and do a great job protecting you from the elements. Bonus point, if you can find boots or shoes with a Goodyear welt, try to go for that during the winter because it's going to be the most waterproof of all designs. I can tell this is Goodyear welt because I see the stitching around the sides here that goes all the way through. The next four essential items in a man's casual wardrobe should be the t-shirt, the long sleeve t-shirt, the short sleeve Henley, and the long sleeve Henley. These are your base layers. You're going to get a lot of wear out of these and you want to make sure that you own whatever you're going to use in multiples. And if you're looking to pick up any essential pieces in any four of these guys, I want you to go check out Essentials, the paid sponsor of today's video, and I'm linking to them down in the description because this Saturday, Jose's open up the store at 10 a.m. Eastern time, guys. He is making them available, and I can tell you, having their shirts, I absolutely love what these guys are doing. So Essentials was started by Jose Zunique and his family. They wanted to create a clothing line that covered the base essentials, the pieces of clothing that every man needs. So the t-shirts, the long sleeve t-shirts, the Henleys, guys, Go check them out. These things are amazing. Look at the way that these shirts fit. It's spot on. And let's talk about the fabric. So it uses a heavier weight weave, which has a really nice drape. It fits on the body well, has a little bit of a stretch, but not too much. It's a mix of bamboo and cotton, which again, just feels really nice to the touch, does a great job standing up in the wash, and overall makes a very high quality, great looking shirt. And again, gents, they come in a wide range of colors, styles. So if you're looking for black t-shirts, gray t-shirts, green t-shirts, you're looking for hoodies, they've got you covered at Essentials. So Essentials has free U.S. shipping. They do ship worldwide. I'm linking to their early bird sign up down in the description. You want to get on this because when they go live on November 24th at 10 a.m., they're going to sell out very quickly. And if you use the code Antonio, which I'm putting down in the description, you'll be able to get three pairs of no-show socks at no cost if you spend at least $30. Next up, let's talk about the hoodie. So the hoodie has a very humble beginning out of the 1930s used by laborers who wanted a cheaper alternative to a wool sweater. So what to look for in your essential hoodie? You want to first focus in on fit. Make sure it fits you in the shoulders. Make sure it's not overly large in the torso area. It's not too long, both in the length of it and the length of the sleeves. Next up, look at the material. You want to go, in my opinion, with something with a blend. I like a little bit of synthetic in my hoodies. It helps them stretch back. Now, when it comes to colors, I like a solid dark color maybe in burgundy, olive green, navy blue. Maybe you could go with a lighter color, maybe an off-white if that's your thing, but avoid those huge logos. I just don't think they add anything to it. Next up, we've got the casual button down. Now, what's the difference between a dress shirt and a casual button down? It's going to be the small things, but casual button downs, as the name implies, are going to be more casual. So we're going to see a flat pocket right here on the chest. The flap in of itself makes this a non-dress shirt. We're going to see a softer collar. So this collar right here, much softer. Again, all the details here, there's no structure on these cuffs. You're going to see structure in dress shirts. Look at the material that's actually used in the shirt. So corduroy, you're never going to see that in dress shirt. This is a very casual fabric. Fabric. Next up, let's look at flannel. Flannel, again, you will only see in casual button downs. Now, this shirt, again, notice I've got the double breast pockets. Now, on other casual shirts, you may see epaulets. You may actually see side pockets here on the sleeves. And overall, the fit of a casual button down is going to be a little bit more relaxed. 
Next up, gents, we've got the vest. I consider it to be one of the most underutilized pieces of clothing in a man's wardrobe. If you're skinny, if you've got a V taper, if you're in great shape, this is going to be a good piece to add to your wardrobe. Why? Because when you wear it with a darker color, darker colored trousers, all of a sudden you got a monochromatic look. It gives you a lot of freedom of movement in the arms and it can be used as a piece to layer. And speaking of layering, let's go ahead and throw a jacket on over that vest and notice how all of a sudden it works well, looks like a great combination. I'm not looking too bulky here. I've actually got a lot of freedom of movement and that's what I love about a good leather jacket is it's going to be cut up high in the armholes, going to give you a basically a lot of room of movement right here. It's still going to do a great job protecting you from the wind, from the elements, but you want to make sure maybe you go with a darker color. Maybe the leather's not your thing. You're just not into that. Then in that case, look at some other different styles of jacket. All right. So so here I've got a blouse and style jacket. This actually came out of World War II off of the tank jacket design and it has a very streamlined look. But again, when I'm layering, it works great and I absolutely love the blouse and style. If you haven't seen it, look it up. All right, gents, so now we're talking about sweaters in different types of knitwear. This sweater right here, one of my favorites, this is going to be the polo sweater. Known because, hey, we got the collar right here, a very soft collar. We've got the buttons right here in the front and the overall design like a long sleeve polo shirt, except it's knitwear. Now, what's great about this is overall it's lightweight. It can be easily layered so I could dress it up, throw a sports jacket on top. I could dress it down, throw a leather jacket on top, or I could simply wear it by itself. So another sweater style that I love is the army or the marine style sweater probably because I used to wear one. Most of them are going to be in an olive green, but you'll occasionally see them in other colors. But what you're going to notice is they got padding in on the shoulders, on the elbows. Basically, they've got an elbow patch right there. And again, they're going to fit closer to the body made from cotton. So another classic style that I love, and this right here, this is not a sleeve. This is a turtleneck. It comes in a wide variety of weaves. The one I showed you here has a very heavy knit, so you're not going to want to layer it too much. It's made to be worn as a casual piece of outerwear, but the lighter weight ones can actually be layered. And again, I think this can be dressed up, dressed down, just a great classic piece to have in your wardrobe. Next up, you've got the classic Aaron sweater. This one in oatmeal, you're also going to see it in off-white, made from wool, made from cashmere. They're classic and should be in a man's wardrobe. A casual piece, it can be layered, but it's usually a heavier weight weave, so just not as easy to layer. So talking about denim, you guys know I love a dark colored indigo denim, and I think this should be an essential in every man's casual wardrobe. Easy to match, will work with almost everything I just talked about in today's video, but why not have it a bit more fun? And yes, you can bring color into your winter wardrobe. Wardrobe. You just don't want to bring bright colors. You want to go for something with a darker hue. This maroon right here, this uh, pair of jeans right here, I think would look great in a man's wardrobe during the winter. And let's talk about corduroy. I talked about it quickly in shirts, but I think when it comes to trousers, it actually has a better home here for your casual wardrobe. And I think when it comes, you get a pair in a dark brown, maybe go with a dark blue, it's going to match pretty much anything in your wardrobe. All right, guys, what'd you think? what I miss? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, click on that like button. If you want to join us here at Real Men Real Style, click on that subscribe button. I put out tons of great videos that you can learn from. And if you're looking for essential pieces like t-shirts, like Henley's, go check out Jose over at Essentials. I'm linking to him down in the description. They're going to go live on Saturday, November 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern. They will sell out within 48 hours. Use that code, Antonio. Again, guys, I'm linking to essentials down in the description. Go check them out. All right, gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. And this is a style I didn't even talk about. The bomber style jacket, the bomber style known because it's got the elastic right here in and around the waist area. It's got a little bit of a puff in and around the torso. Has pockets usually that you can keep your hands warm. So you thought the video was over, but I just keep giving information. That's what we're about here at Real Men Real Style. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.